Hello and welcome to The Chart Show. I'm Victoria Scholar and each week I'll be sharing my analysis on three key stories that are getting a lot of attention among investors. I'll be breaking them down, not just from a fundamentals perspective, but with some technical analysis on the charts as well. This week's three charts are Whitbread, Dark Trace and Delivery Hero. Whitbread said it expects Premier Inn's revenues per average room to recover to pre-COVID levels this year, while quarterly total UK sales came in 3.1% ahead of full year 2020. Total food and beverage sales actually fell by 11.1%. The company warned that government lockdown restrictions are weighing on the German market and also warned that sector cost inflation will continue to be above historic levels even into 2023. Let's take a look now at the chart because despite a disappointing performance in its shares in 2021 ending pretty much flat, the stock has since been trading in an ascending trend line since that trough in December with high highs and higher lows and has recovered almost 70% of its declines from the high at the beginning of November. The last few weeks have seen very few red candles on the chart, suggesting that from a technical perspective, the bulls are gathering momentum with 34.50 as the next major resistance hurdle. Shares in Darktrace jumped on Tuesday after the company raised its full-year guidance for revenue and margins. The stock also caught a bid on the back of a 40% surge in customer numbers to more than 6,500. 2022's annual recurring revenue is now seen rising by between 37 and 38.5%. That's up from between 34 and 36%. Earnings margins are expected to come in between 3 and 6%. That's higher than the 2 to 5% that was previously anticipated. The company said that first half revenue is expected to come in at $190 million at least, while organic growth of at least 50% is seen coming in. The stock enjoyed initial optimism after its IPO in April, surging by 300%. However, in October, analysts at Peel Hunt initiated coverage on the stock with a sell rating, creating volatility for the share price. Let's take a look now at the chart of Dark Trace. After its IPO at 250 pence a share at the end of April, the stock rallied by 300% all the way up to £10 a share in September. However, since the peak, it's struggled, trading in a descending trend line, retracing back down to below £4 in December. This week's rally has seen the stock push higher once again with the next major resistance hurdle at £5 a share. A break above that level could potentially pave the way for further gains. Shares in Delivery Hero have surged by almost 5% on Tuesday after forecasting that it expects to break even in the second half of the year. The stock was initially up by more than 7% before pairing gains later in the session. The stock also caught the headlines on Monday after it sold a $150 million stake in a Latin American food delivery company, Rappi, monetizing its investment while retaining a stake of almost 8% valued at more than $400 million. The positive price action this week comes as a welcome reprieve for investors who've had a bit of a rough ride lately with the stock shedding around a third of its value in 2021. The stay-at-home stock capitalised on the public health crisis in 2020 at the height of the pandemic when food delivery exploded, but has been struggling since. Its financial forecasts, however, potentially point to a brighter outlook ahead. Let's take a look now at the chart of Delivery Hero because after a strong 2020, the following year was a lot more challenging. The shares peaked at the start of 2021 and have since been trading in a descending trend line with lower lows and lower highs. Since November, those declines accelerated with a much steeper descending trend line coming into play, resulting in the weakest print since May of 2020. The stock is now trading around the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement line, drawn from the lows after the Q1 sell-off of 2020 when COVID unnerved markets. The next major support hurdle looks to be at around 80. If the stock can hold above this level, then look for resistance around 98. That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement level and is close to psychological round number resistance at 100. 